What up, Bride? It's your boy Mari back at again with another reaction video. Today we are getting into Vibe, but the live version. I already reacted to the music video and I posted that on YouTube. And then I'm going to react to the behind the scenes and put that on Patreon. I usually do the lives on Patreon, but someone told me that this could go on YouTube. So we're gonna try to put this on YouTube. If it does, then great. If it doesn't work, I'll just put this on Patreon as well. But hopefully you guys are having a great day. Without further ado, we're gonna get into this and I'll see all you guys on the other side. Girl, you gotta know you got that vibe. Let me so the fine arts. You I love when a musician shows off, or I love when an artist shows off their musicianship. It's great. A lot of people tend to just assume that people in pop are untalented musically outside of singing, which makes no sense how people just assumed that professional musicians don't have any musicality, just show up, sing, sing into auto-tune, and then just magically sell millions of records. That's not how it works. If it was that easy, everybody would do it. But Anyway, that's a whole side rant. The point is, I like this. This is great. Uh, it's giving me big, like, Tiny Desk vibes, which everyone loves Tiny Desk. Duh. So I'm enjoying this. It says live clip. I don't know why it's a clip. This is this is four minutes long. I don't know what this is a clip of. But um, regardless, so far, this is dope. Mm, you got me feeling so right. Yeah, you so Yeah, Okay, real quick. All right, cuz I can I can already tell they're about to go up. Um I I feel like we should all unanimously agree that he sounds better here. Like e even better than the studio version. That that's how he sounds right now. That's a real that's a real vocalist right there. Like you if you don't sound good outside of the studio, well, okay, that's a whole other debate. But when you sound better outside of the studio, that's impressive. That's really that's not common. That's not easy to do at all. But he sounds better. Like, everything. Just the tone, the harmonics of his voice. Everything about it is better. Okay? Better. Better. Front to back. Start to finish. Top to bottom. It's better. I like this. This is amazing. I also, I also tend to like live performances more than studio versions. Good live performances more than studio versions. But, um, regardless, he sounds better. It just needs to be said. You know we got the vibe, baby. Look at me, look at me, look at me, notch. Look at me. You know we got the vibe, baby. Look at you, look at you, look at me, notch. Look at me, why you survive? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. G mean of BTS. Let's go. This can be the one and only Adam. And Ganga to your six and sponge. And Chani to Sumanja, but the Ganja. And don't even like his own guys in this is an arm. Yeah. And not a moody win on his bad light. And not an under win on an arm, son. The one because you know Chani. Oh, do I'm honey. Get the twilight. I can feel it. Not a gong. So you're my matrix You don't know I want your love No, I want your love I
Okay, so they they slightly recomposed the song for the live version, and I think that's so cool. I I like that. Some people don't like it to so be like, no, I just want to hear the exact version that I heard on the studio version when I go see you live. This isn't a concert, but you get what I'm saying. I don't care. That's not that's not what we're here for. I show me something, and they showing me something. I like that. I I'm a fan. Also, I like to hear the same song in multiple different ways, like. When people do exact covers of songs, that's super boring to me. Like, I don't care. When people recompose them, even slightly, make slight alterations to fit their voice, their style, whatever, for a cover, now I'm interested. Now you got my attention. And when artists do that for their own songs, it's usually after, like, years of performing the song, one, the artist gets tired of the song. Yes, it happens. It blows people's minds that artists could ever be tired of their own music, but it happens. Just working on albums, a lot of times artists get tired of hearing the same song over and over and over and over and over again. It's it's like when you say the same word over and over and over and over again until it starts to sound like a different word, and that word is usually strange and weird, even though it's the exact same word. Same thing, but with a a bunch of words and notes and so on and so forth. So it's usually not this quick, but it, this also isn't like a major like reconstruction of the song either, but still it's usually not this quick, but I'm here for it. I like this a lot. I'm, I might, I might actually like this better than the original version. That's, that's a little, that's a little um, tea for you. It's not piping hot tea. Cause I'm not saying that the original version is bad. I'm just saying that this, this is really good. I like this but also adding more musicians to things tends to make it better. And there are now a room full of musicians. Were there bongos in, in the last version? Like, as I as I thought about that, I don't think that we had bongos in the last version. Like, what? Actually, those might be congos. There's a bunch of different hand drums that you beat on, and the size and tuning of them changes the name of them. But I'm not Jamaican, so I don't know all of them. I, I think those are congas, actually, not bongos. Congas are bigger than bongos. But... Whatever. There's like 20 of them. Shut up. You get the point. That that wasn't in the, the original version. And I like it. I like the way it sounds. They also like look cool. They're black. I don't usually see them black. They're usually like tan. So that adds like some extra something to it. Doesn't make them sound better, I don't think. But but it does. It it if you don't think about it, it does. Like your your soul feels it more. Yeah. Anyway, point is. I like this uh, slight recomposing of the song that they did. And also it causes the song to build even more than it did before, which gives you the payoff of this, where they start harmonizing, where Jimin comes in, so on and so forth. So, dope. No, I want your love. Hey. Okay, real quick before the, the song ends. I like that, and I don't want to mispronounce his name. Someone hinted that I might have mispronounced his name in the last video. I've never actually heard his name said because up until now I, I haven't followed Big Bang. So excuse me if I do mispronounce his name. I don't mean to. But I like the fact that like even in the chair, he's dancing. That's not always the case when people give seated performances of their songs like they'll they'll just sit there and look pretty and he could have done that jimin is kind of doing that but in tae young's case he is just just dancing like it, it doesn't it doesn't matter that he's seated he is feeling the music 
he's dancing, he's going with it, and that makes the viewer enjoy, or I think it makes the viewer enjoy the song that much more because you can tell that the artist is really enjoying and really like giving it to you in the performance. And so um, it's always nice. But I, I'm, I also favor dancers, so it's that could just be a me thing. Like I, I admit, some people may not feel that way, but I do. So I really like that he is vibing with the song. Who is Teddy, and why is his name all over this? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Some people are credited in quite a few places, but... Anyway, this Teddy person is, is credited all over this. Please, more information. That sounds familiar. Somebody mentioned him in a comment. Producer at... I don't know. Anyway, give it to me again, because clearly my, my memory is terrible. Thank you. Okay, yeah, that was really good. I, I do, in fact, I thought about it as, as the song closed. I do like that better than the studio version. It's good. Like, that's, yeah. I like the, the, the momentum and energy built in the song. And that happens in the studio version, but it's definitely, it's definitely more pronounced here, which I think is dope. And also shows off the artistry of Taeyang as well as uh, just how well they harmonize because without all of the effects and things on their voice that happens in the studio version just due to the mixing and mastering process they sound so good together just singing and so yeah let me know what you thought about it let me know what you think about the the versions in comparison to each other not to like you know hate on one version or the other don't do that just i'm just curious what you guys think because you guys may think differently than me that happens yeah thank you for being here definitely make sure to like comment subscribe and share not to miss any more videos like this and i'll be seeing all of you guys here on the channel next time